The object of this video is to show you how you can reproduce your work house paint or reproduce an animal from a picture or a bird something that you found in a magazine um, the what I just showed you there was uh, its house paint that I'm using for the background and I've never done this before and it, please forgive me it's um, it's gonna be rough in the beginning I haven't learned how to do thumbnails I haven't learned how to do a lot of things but what I want to do is show you that uh, it's not as difficult to paint as you would think and a lot of people are afraid to get started and hopefully I can help somebody um, be creative so Obviously, you don't want to copy the Mona Lisa and uh, sign it Leonardo da Vinci and try to sell it, but you can copy things and then make them your own. I'm going to show you how I, I'm uh, redoing a painting that I did of toucans, the bird toucan. And... Um, when I first painted it, it came out very small and dark, and I didn't like it that much. And what I'm going to do is uh, make it bigger and brighter on this piece of plywood that I'm using for a canvas. Um, the, the background, you can change the background, but basically a toucan looks like any other toucan, uh, you know, dogs and cats. Um, yeah, I guess some people's dogs look like other dogs, but basically, um, you can get a picture of something and reproduce it fairly easily and then make it your own. That's what I'm trying to say. So, bear with me. I don't know what I'm doing except that I wanted to show people that you don't have to spend so much money on equipment. I've spent hundreds of hun hundreds and hundreds of dollars on canvas and um, so now I'm trying this. I, I used a piece of plywood. You can get a frame somewhere in a thrift store or at the, the art store and fit the, fit the plywood to the frame. I see I'm coming to the end of this video, so I'm going to conclude for now. I will show you what the uh, painting of the two cans looks like and how I'm going to make it twice the size that it was painted originally. Thank you.